Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Brother Keon here, and I had to do this over again because it didn't record all the way through what I was about to say. But anyway, this video is about what is the gospel. And today we're going to talk about that many people don't understand what the gospel is. And people don't because they think the gospel is of their works. And they always add to the gospel. If you add to the gospel, then it's of works. It's not the true gospel. But they tend to think that's what the gospel is because this is what they taught in these churches. So we're going to go over these verses and show you what the real gospel is. And this is the problem with, with Christendom as it is most of the time because they don't go to the, they don't go to the true source of our authority, which is the word of God. They go by man's opinion instead of the word of God. Which is the problem. Now, you want to take, speaking of that, you want to take my opinion. You can go and read these verses yourself and study them out. But I intend, I'll, I'll tell you that you need to understand what the gospel is. Now, um, let's go to Galatians 2 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So you can tell right here that we are justified by faith in Christ. Not by the works of the law. Your works cannot save you. Your works cannot do anything for you. You can repent of your sins. You can confess your sins you can say i stopped sinning you can say i did a and to z all you want to you can say i've been a good person and all that and the third but at the same token you will not be justified whatsoever let's keep going romans three twenty eight. therefore we are concluded that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law exactly let's move on i don't need to explain that nothing because it says itself Romans 3.20 Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in this sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Now, if you're trying to do everything in your power to make sure that you are clean in your own deeds, then basically, you're not saved. That's not the gospel. You're just sin conscious. You're trying to do something about it. You cannot be justified by, by the law whatsoever. And everything you do is law keeping. If you have to um if you have to confess your sins, you have to stop sinning, or you gotta do this and that, and you know, don't trust in Christ, then it's law keeping. The law is a knowledge of sin. That's what that is. It's a list of things you have to stop doing that you know good and well you can't do. That's why God wants you to trust in him. Trust in this son, what he done for us. He already knew you were going to be able to keep the law. It's too perfect to keep. That means you have to be perfect to keep it. So, let's move on. Romans 5, 9 and 10. Much more than being now justified by his, by his blood, his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if... For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled, by, reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. There we go. Justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. That means we will not see the tribulation period. We will not be involved in the tribulation period. We will be with the Lord Jesus Christ because we are in him and he is in us. We are reconciled with him. That's the And if you don't believe in that, that we're going to be gone before the tribulation period. That's fine. It's not a salvation issue, but I'm not going to argue about that on here. But we are saved by his life. We are reconciled to God. By what? By being justified by faith. Simple as that. The gospel is very simple to understand, and people make it difficult because they go about these preachers, they go about these churches, that tell you the wrong thing instead of studying the word of God. But at the same token, they tell you some truth, but then they add works to it, which is very dangerous. Now for the last verse of the day, 
Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. For by grace you are saved through faith, that not of yourself is a gift of God, not of works like any man should boast. Simple as that. It's not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. It's not of works. You can't boast about it. See, a person who claims that they are saved by their works will boast about it. Oh, I did this. I did that. I stopped sitting. I confessed my sins. Oh, I'm, I'm not like none of y'all so-called grace believers. Y'all want to sin and have a sin party. I'm not like them. That's boasting. That's what that is. You claim to be righteous. You claim to be you know, self-righteous and thinking you're better than everybody. But at the same token, God is higher than you. Jesus Christ is higher than you. We are saved by the faith of Christ. We are saved by Him. It has nothing to do with us whatsoever. We are justified by faith through Christ. That is the gospel. That's what the gospel is, and that's what the gospel will be. Thank you for your time, brother, sister, in Christ. I hope you all have a blessed and beautiful day.